Hello everyone, this is Leah Whitehorse and as promised because quite a few of my followers and my patrons wanted to see this transformation of my altar room which is also my office, this is my desk. Um, because I talked about it quite a bit um, whilst Venus was retrograde, so in case you're happening across this video sometime in the future, um, I did this in 2023 when Venus was retrograde in my first house. And it was a really big deal for me because for a long time I haven't wanted to stay in this home, in this property, and I still don't want to stay here forever. I hope to one day have my cottage by the sea. And that feeling kept me kind of stuck really. I, I found it very difficult to take care of this place. But Venus retrograde in my first house, the first house is kind of how you see the world and it's your immediate environment. And it was like Venus was saying to me, are you happy? Are you happy with what you see? And Venus is the ruler of my 10th house of work. So if my environment is not a happy place to be, then clearly that has a kind of negative effect on my work as well as, as me. So I kind of, just got it together one day i just thought that's it that's enough i'm done and i ripped up the ancient carpet that was in here that was just horrible so editing leah is just jumping in here to say that when i ripped up that carpet i missed out a very important point i found a, a pay slip from 1996 and it was for six pounds and i think it was 79 pence a tiny tiny amount and it just it almost made me just feel like this makes so much sense why I have struggled sometimes with with money and with my belief in myself that I can survive because this old stuff was literally underneath everything so how interesting that Venus retrograde literally took me back to the past, forced me to look at the past and said to me, you were paid a pittance in the past. You, you kind of, you know, you did all this work and you were paid very poorly and you were, and you were doing this job because you didn't believe you could do what you truly wanted to do in your heart. And this was underneath everything. And it, it was a very emotional moment when I found it and I realized all this old stagnant energy was in this room and this is why the room had felt so heavy and just wrong. I mean, I must have cleansed and blessed and banished 101 times in here, but it just didn't seem to ever stick and this was why. So that old payslip was, uh, burned in a ceremony outside um, to ensure it had completely gone and just to release that energy back into back into the universe. But it was such an interesting experience and a very literal example of how Venus retrograde can work. And stripped everything out, decluttered everything and painted uh, this room. And before it was like a really kind of gross green color. Um, I love green, but it wasn't a nice green. And now it's just very peaceful, uh, a little flat and boring, some people might find, but I have a lot of pictures. So this is only a small amount of pictures at the moment. And I plan on putting a lot more up to kind of just give some interest to the room. So, Venus retrograde, that is how she worked for me. She helped me to see that in loving this house that I'm in, it's, a, it's an apartment or a flat, um, in loving this place, I'm also loving myself. And self-love is something that I found very, very difficult to, to practice. I am getting better at it. And this, uh, this room certainly has helped with that. 
So just to sort of, I'll start here, just to move around the room a little bit, you can see I have lovely trees outside. I actually live in the middle of the city, but we have a community garden downstairs. So I have a huge wall hanging of the star on here. I really love this. I then have this painting, which is of um, Saint Jerome. I didn't know who it was when I uh, sort of saw it. I just thought, oh, it looks like an astrologer kind of working away in their office. It just really kind of drew me in. And I just bought it on a whim. It was uh, at the art gallery. It was on a Friday, which was Venus's day. It was the Friday of the week that I finished all the decorating. And yeah, I felt really drawn to this picture. I didn't even look at who it was by. I just bought it, came home, looked it up. And it was then that I really saw the lion. So of course, Venus was retrograde in Leo, wasn't she? So here is Leo the lion. And this image is of Saint Jerome who pulled the thorn from the lion's paw. And this symbolically, again, really resonates with my experience pulling out this pain that I was going through, this hardship, this difficulty that I was going through with my relationship to this room and to my self-worth. I'm Leo rising. So, so the fact that I was drawn to this painting without really knowing the story behind it, I think is quite amazing. But then again, Venus rules art galleries, which is where I ended up buying uh, this painting from. I have my tarot collection on this very tall uh, piece of furniture, wall unit, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, this is basically all my cards and all my oracle decks. I have lots more that I want to buy, but these are uh, the ones that I have right now. And I'm very happy that I have these uh, at the moment. The Mystical Moments, Tower of Mystical Moments is definitely one of my favourites, along with the good old Mythic deck by Liz Green and uh, Juliet Sharman Burke. I have a little Venus Abundance altar here, or Abundance Bowl, I should say. So all of my wishes are written onto these bay leaves. Uh, it's just filled with rock salt just to make everything stand up. Cinnamon, uh, which is kind of good for abundance as well. Falls gold, lots of bits of money. Uh, a black candle because I didn't have a white candle at the time. I'm sure Venus won't mind. I do need to swap that out. And yeah, just I just kind of feed the bowl on a Friday. Um, I will either put in a coin or if I find something outside, a little flower. There's a few bits there. Um, I will give that to her and generally in the morning I come in and I sort of say hello to Venus um, just to sort of keep reminding myself of that connection to her um, and to continue to practice self-love so it's not just abundance for money it's abundance of of love and all the good things that life can bring. My bookshelves are here as you can see and I'm not going to go through all of the books but I uh, Praise to the Moon by Ellen Hawke. That was the first book that I was uh, quoted in. And then I've got Spellcaster there, Seven Ways to Effective Magic. And I'm a co-author there. And then this I'm very proud of, the old Dell horoscope, having my article um, on the, the, the cover here. So the reason I have these like this on here is not just to kind of trumpet my success, but it's actually to remind myself that I can do this because I need that reminder sometimes. Um, I still haven't read this Psychic Witch, but I absolutely love the cover, um, but I will be reading that next. I bought that not too long ago now, considering sometimes I buy books and it's years until I read them. So yes, it's basically uh, witchy books at the top and then astrology. Uh, all on there. I have loads more on my Kindle as well. And then there's a sort of mixture of tarot and other things there. And then I've got some herbs down here. Uh, a series just there by the owl picture. And just uh, some magazines and things at the bottom here. So this is my altar. Um, now it's kind of weird saying that because actually all of this, all of this is my altar. 
Um, this altar I use for meditation. That's what I've kind of designated it as now. So it's my meditation altar, but it's also my seasonal altar. So it's a bit of a mixed altar and, and that's okay. Um, so at the moment I have all the things on here for uh, Mabon because we're just coming up to uh, autumn equinox here in the UK. And so I have various autumnal things that are on my desk here. Um, you know, the, the leaves and the squash and uh, all those kinds of things. Some of these bits I have actually collected outside. So the, um, the pine cones and the uh, conkers here. Um, but I need to go and get some apples because we have uh, a little orchard outside. And then I have a prayer plant here that's just come home with me in the last uh, few days. So I'm really, really happy about that to have a prayer plant on here. Um, and yeah, this is basically where I come in the morning to do my meditation. I have um, uh, some mala beads there. So very, very simple mala beads. I'm obviously not um, practicing Buddhist, I'm pagan, but I like to use those beads. Uh, to to chant um, and sometimes just to sort of hold them whilst I'm meditating. Um, I've got a black and white candle. So this is for uh, Mabon. Um, so it's equal day, equal night. So I like to have a black candle for night and a white candle to represent the daytime. And then we've just got a lovely Mabon card there so I just like to have a lot of uh, images around me images just really really inspire me as does this absolutely gorgeous image um, this is um, night accompanied by I think it's the genie of study and wisdom I'm gonna have to look that up I meant to look that up before I started this video but anyway it's something along those lines um, isn't it beautiful though? I think she's just amazing. And then I have some pictures that I took myself. These are all in, uh, taken in Glastonbury. Uh, obviously I didn't take the one of myself. So I have a picture of me there in Glastonbury. I don't know, 2005, something like that. Absolutely gorgeous image of a witch. Um, I need to look up who that's by as well. I should have actually planned this a bit better, but I'm doing it on the fly. Because um, I know people were sort of saying to me, have you finished yet? Um, so this is uh, Chalice Well. And this is from, I believe, from Chalice Well Gardens, if I remember rightly. As I say, I did take all these photos myself, so I'm enjoying having them up on the wall finally. And then this is my my new um, sort of main over altar uh, space. I don't even know what to call it at the moment. Um, my friend got me that for my birthday. Stay wild, moon child. Um, so at the moment, these little kind of cubby holes are a little bit haphazard. I've just put things on there as I've got inspired to, um, but I will have de designated spaces for things as time moves on. But at the moment, it's just, it's very intuitive and it's just how it is. This is very generally sort of to do with the heavens because I've got the sun and moon uh, candles there. And then we've got the angelic being, obviously moon phases pot, um, my crystal ball and this, this thing here, which I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's really cool and I really like it. And my friends got me that for Christmas, um, a lovely piece of selenite that was for my birthday and um, it's got some quartz on top of it as well so this is kind of dedicated to the heavens um, and what I've started doing is in the mornings when I kind of do my meditation and I do my prayers because um, I normally say my prayers to whichever is the deity of the day um, just reciting the Orphic hymns so I tend to light these candles when I'm doing that um, this is my Kind of holy water, my moon water. I use this when I'm doing a reading, so I um, sort of anoint myself with it. Uh, we just got some holy water from Fatima there as well. Um, I didn't go there, someone got me that. Um, and then 
I really love this. This is like a little manifestation box um, which came from Witch Casket. I really, really love their subscription box. I've just resubscribed actually to um, to get the October one. Um, I don't get it every month because, you know, I, I need to be a bit more conscientious with my pennies, but at the same time, it's really worth it. Um, not quite sure what's going on in here. This is just a variety of little bits and pieces, things that I really like. Um, and then this one has evolved into um, a sort of self-healing uh, space. So that is actually me when I was five. And then the card beside it says, you are stardust. So this is to remind me uh, with a kind of white horse there as well. So this is to remind me to stay connected to my inner child and sometimes it's easier for me to kind of send healing to the this image to this child than it is to look in the mirror and to kind of practice self-love in that way so if i'm struggling then i do it this way but also like i say it's to remind me almost of the promises I made to myself when I was young um, and yeah it kind of felt really powerful when I decided I made the decision that I was going to put this photo on here and suddenly this picture just jumped out at me this uh, you are stardust one and I thought yes this has to go together magic can work like that sometimes magic can be very very intuitive it's linking things together it's just linking energies and symbols together and it's almost like that is your poem to the gods or that is your prayer to the gods um and yeah it's really really powerful i love this picture i've had this picture for years and years i believe i bought it in glastonbury on a pilgrimage um, but i'm not entirely sure but there's just something really joyous about this picture it's beautiful uh, all my crystals, as you can see, and this little, tiny little bell. Um, oh, I just hit my foot on the chair. <laughs> and this tiny little bell, really cute, little tiny altar bell. Um, that was Witch Casket as well. Um, my gorgeous Pala Cecina, she is so beautiful, and she comes from Greece. It was a company on Etsy. Um, again, can't remember the name, so I'll have to put it underneath, but they were really, really good. She came all the way from Greece. And then the bell at the back there was my grandmother's, so that's important to me. I use that bell when I'm kind of, again, sort of doing readings. Um, so I ring the bell at the beginning to kind of clear the air and also to clear my mind. Cauldron, of course, and Hecate. She's looking a little bit barren at the moment in this uh, in this little space. I've got some other bits and pieces to put in here, but um, you know she's always beside me. I have this lovely jay feather. There's also a hawk feather in there as well. Just found feathers. The jay was one that was sent to me by a friend. And the plaque again. I think that might have been witch casket, if I remember rightly. I think it is. Um, so yeah, this is my my space, my workroom. 99.9% .9 of my life is spent in this room. If you are wanting to change something in your home, obviously I understand money can be an issue sometimes. It costs me some money to put this new carpet in. But once you know that you want to do it, it's really, really worth um, investing in yourself. And this is what Venus teaches us. She teaches us, she reminds us, I am worthy. And it took me, I don't know, something like 20 years to actually say to myself, I am worthy of having a better space to work in. And here we are, I'm really, really happy with it. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, do leave a comment if you have any questions and um, I'll see you again soon. Blessed be.